Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls Daughters of Ash. Let me get rid of this armor because I don't like the way this armor set looks. Uh, it's a cool thing, the shadow set, but it's not for me. Uh, not for this character. Maybe, nah, 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 let's not keep the gauntlet. Am I fast rolling still? Cool. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, you can probably hear it's raining outside. Uh, it's Sunday, which is the day this episode will go up. And it's pretty much been raining all afternoon. But I honestly don't mind that. There's sort of an atmosphere to the rain, you know. The summer rain, you know. It's a thing. It's a thing that exists. These guys are placed terribly. Uh, so what I did is I cheated since the last episode because I looked up. Well, technically not cheated, but you know. I looked up where the very large ember is. Can you stop doing that? Can you stop being this annoying? I looked up where the very large ember is. Only to find that it is very very far away uh, and that has me worried I'm not gonna lie because you have to do a lot of shit with only a plus 10 weapon uh, damn again it's a, s a slightly worrying thing because I'm the type of dude that loves to max out his weapon as early as possible. And it looks like you ain't gonna be able to do that really. Is this the dude that drops the... the amulet? It's weird because Dusk is activated, but we like don't rescue her from... Interesting. See the thing is... I'm... Oh, that's fucking wonderful. Straight through straight through the door can I backstab you? thank you wait, do they get extra def defense as well? Yeah, they only get more attack whatever uh, yeah, I don't even know how you get to the DLC oh yeah, you're placed differently whispering halls it's going to be an interesting thing to find out, you know? Because again, we have the pendant of Artorias. I mean, the silver pendant. But it's called something different in this game. Oh, fuck! That was all stun lock. Um, yeah, that was all stun lock. Oh god, okay, let me just move my mouse off screen. This, we're getting rid of this shitty shield. Uh, nice. Fuck it, I'm using Grass Crest. Has good stats. I don't even care. People say it's a cheap shield, which it is, because it's way too good. For its own good, but... Again, I don't care. Better send this elevator back. So yeah, man, it's raining. Summer rains are always kind of cool. It's... I don't know, there's just something about it. Atmospheric. It's been like... I talked about this on stream yesterday, but it's been like... Almost unbearably hot. Uh, this week. Not this week, just this weekend. Here in Hungary. Uh... It's like fucking overdrive summer, you know. Can I just go around? Oh, okay. That's the difference. So they do not get more defense when they're buffed. It's just the sword and shield ones have higher defense than the other ones. That's interesting. Did I change backstab all of them? No, there's one more. God, that shoulder bash. It's pretty cheapo. 
cheapo bonito. So yeah, it's just been like unbearably hot this weekend. I was out, went to get food and I got into my car and I was like, holy shit. I was regretting the decision of buying a black car, uh, which I've had two cars in my life that I've owned and both of those were black and with these summers, you know, sometimes you question your decision because holy fuck, you know, gotta turn up the AC. Okay. Especially since we only have one garage space and that space is used by my dad's car or the family car, you know. So it's like we got limited options. See, I hate this section in the normal game as well, let alone with reduced HP and all that. Five Estes. But they all kind of line up like this. There's a fuck ton of them too. Okay, wait for the debuff to run out. I think I'll just run for it. Oh shit, it didn't run out. It hasn't run out just yet. Fuck, that lasts a long time. When you're sitting like this and waiting for it to run out, it sure, it sure as hell lasts a long time. Um, uh, it's like waiting in a red light, I swear. I can wait all day. I got hella time. That is crazy. That's really crazy. Okay, it's run out now. Eat shit, both of you. I really thought it wears off when you kill the channeler, but... And never mind that, we're not gonna complain. Mm, I'm sure there's new items here. But I think we're just gonna go up. Because we are in a precarious bonfire. Fuck, I'm so low on humanities. Yeah, we're in a precarious situation. They're gonna put some bullshit here. Listen, if I had to guess... My guess would be that they'll put some bullshit here. So I'm like being extra... Extra, extra careful. Or maybe not. Maybe, just maybe. This is suspicious. So yeah, back to the car situation, that's what the deal is. Um, but then again, black cars always look cooler. So, that's weird. Was that there before? Uh, so, oh fuck. I have very low curse resist. I have the dingy set though. Uh, so, if I fight him... It's not gonna be... You, are gotta, you have gotta be shitting me. I died already and I got cursed. <sighs> oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't have one, do I? Of course I don't. Why would I have a purging stone? Oh no. And I'm betting 
all hell that this is knew it. Well, boys, this run might have might have just come to an end. Um, with how fucking difficult this. How much damage? Okay. With how fucking difficult this game is on its own, I legit don't know if I'll be able to struggle through this. Okay. Um. Oh, he opened. He's the one that opens because he's coming in to kill us. Yeah. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. Luckily, the counters on this weapon are fucked up. Archive tower cell keys. Did he lock the door? No, he did not. Oh, okay. I'm dreading this. Of course, that still activates. Mm, yeah, we are basically red tear stoning this shit, essentially. I'm gonna skip the cutscene, cause fuck that cutscene. Okay, they don't run anymore. Yes, they do. How are you both still alive? I kind of thought that this is gonna, what's going to happen. Uh, well, if you thought death, deaths were frequent before, uh, this changes everything. How the fuck am I going to get back to stupid new Londo? Or buying a purging stone? It's... Listen, I'm salty about how I was cursed, because I had zero HP, and it's a little bit bullshit that you can still get the curse status on you. I feel, but that's always been... I mean, that's not from this mod, okay? Uh, that has always been a thing. And it's always been a little bit baffling. Still. I guess we just gotta struggle through. This is nice though that you immediately get the key. I guess that's something. Who the hell? Is that Havel? That's Havel. Holy shit. We have Havel in the building. Havel is in the house, boys. Oh yeah, my original point. I said I looked up where the very large ember is. And it's very far away. It's in the DLC. It's sold by Goff. Hawkeye Goff. Uh, which is not easy to get to. Because I'm thinking, like, are they seriously going to make me fight Artorias with a plus 10 weapon only? Because that's going to be very pleasant. Oh, hello. How the hell did you get down here? Are you even the one from upstairs? Lost cell key. That's the Havel one. Now the question is... I have a feeling that's the Havel one. Let's read the description on the elevator. Uh, opens the secure middle cell. Seath frequently changes the cell locks in the archive tower, particularly when they contain valuable specimens. The serpent men often lose track of, resulting, of the resulting plethora of keys. Interesting. I feel like 
What if they made Havel into a friend in this playthrough? Or in this mod? Like people have been asking for friendly Havel for I don't know how long. And fuck I have this cheap shield. I gotta remember that I can actually dodge here. You know, I'm playing I'm playing Dark Souls 3 over on <coughs> twitch.tv Mr. Sketchhead if you're not following me. Uh, where the challenge is that I'm fat rolling throughout the whole thing. So I gotta remember that that's not this playthrough. I can actually of course they would make that a mimic. Uh I'm risking life and limb. Wait, that's... I think this is a mimic on it. Is it a mimic? Now I don't remember. I don't remember if this is a mimic. Archive tower entrance. Nice. I am not going to do anything with this uh, like sea monster area super hentai Japanese tentacle monsters I feel like they would 100% kill oh you've got to be fucking kidding me no like this is this is not happening this is not happening Havel I'm I no, 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 no. Havel, help me. Yes. I knew it. Of course, it's insta-kill. <gasps> he is fighting him. And I died like a bitch because I have no HP. <gasps> what the hell is going to happen now? He is here. He's just here normally. I cannot believe we have to fight this boss right here. Havel. Rescue me, please. Where is he? Come on. He's a legit... He's like an actual friend. Okay, he's coming up the stairs. Uh, Havel. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, boy. So you have to fight... You have to fight the Capra Demon for me. Havel, please. No, don't go. You're walking out on your only son. No. God, he's a motherfucker. Slow coming up the stairs. Ah. I cannot believe that this is the situation I've gotten myself in. Havel, no! You're taking unnecessary damage. You are being a badass, though. Oh, he's taking so much damage. <gasps> he's dead. No. He killed Havel, the fucker. This is... I'm not going to be able to do this. Uh, if Havel stays dead, which I think he is staying dead, I'm legit not going to be able to beat this boss. Oh, this is a skeleton. Alright, I think there is a very good chance that this playthrough is fucking over. I'm serious because, uh, well. Because, like, what, like, what am I gonna do? I literally have zero HP. I cannot warp out. I'm assuming this is blocked off. 
No, it's not. Oh, thank fuck. Ridiculous, man. At least I know this is where I can go back and... <sighs> this is where... Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I've, I've said this before, but... Uh, the last... I don't know... Three episodes of this have just not been fun. Um, I'm going on because I'm enjoying this mod overall, but... Again... I've just not been enjoying the last three episodes. If I'm gonna be fully honest with you. Which is a shame. But it's... But it's because of shit like that. Like, what even hit me? And I just keep dying, and I've gotten into some, like, really shitty situations. I have, like, zero humanities. And again, like, you know, you know how it is. Like, I specifically didn't want to make this into a challenge, but I just wanted to play Daughters of Ash, and... Now I am essentially playing like a one hit challenge build. And it's kind of, again, what I did not want to do. But whatever, we'll, we'll truck on. Keep on trucking. I'm really hoping they're gonna let us warp out from here. If not, I I don't know what I'll do because then we gotta go through all this bullshit uh, to get back to like An Orlando or something. Fuck this chair. There is no bonfire here. Wonderful. Okay, they moved the bonfire. I should have kind of expected that. Honestly. And where the fuck is the bonfire? Seriously. It's definitely not here. So I have no HP. I have a feeling the bonfire is not gonna let me warp out as well. The next one. If I do find it. Or whatever. Gotta be careful because there's archers here. Which they kind of take. Oh, okay. Just gotta find a way to get the fuck out of here. I sent the elevator down, didn't I? I'm a fucking idiot. Yes, I did. Of course. The one time where it would have benefited me having the elevator up here. The elevator is down and I'm 100% dead. Okay, you fuckers need to get off the elevator. All of you. Look at look if if there was ever others oh, stuck on each other, if there was ever a definition for a cluster fuck, uh that would have been it. So now we got the elevator up. All I gotta do is just run back here again from this fucking bonfire. Uh 
and get out of here and heal myself and do all that. It should be easy, right? I gotta come back here and fight this fucking thing. I feel like, I don't know, I mean, he's a legit boss. I don't know what he drops. But I'm guessing it's something important. Hell, he's killed me plenty of times already. Again, all we gotta do is get the fuck out of here. Again, and I, like I said, the one time uh, I sent the elevator back thinking I was gonna die. It ended up being the one situation where I didn't die and it bit me in the ass. It's kind of typical. I mean, this area is an, again, this is an absolute clusterfuck. Like, look at the, there's like double the amount of enemies here. And they're gonna kill me. <sighs> Come on. You have got to be Fuck. Get out of here. I probably can't warp out of this one anyways. So we might as well go out to An Orlando. Which... Oh, because there's bad demons here. Those things are going to kill me. I cannot believe these guys count as being too close for me to use the bonfire. But I'll take my chances with them. <sighs> this is like more nerve wracking than some of the boss fights. Fuck you both. Uh, we are going to... The dude sells purging stones, right? Hopefully he does. This has been again a pretty unproductive episode uh, which kind of tends to be the theme but I'll go on for longer today just a little bit we well, gotta go back to the Duke's archives it's the only thing we can can do just trying to make this quick The thing is, like, I have nothing to say about this area because uh, we've been here already. Oh, one thing I can do is check out the tower. Maybe. Maybe finally I have something that I can ring the second bell with. So you need, like, gauntlets, right? Maybe Silver Knight is good enough. Maybe, just maybe. Uh, we are going to use... Oh, you've got to be so careful with that. Uh, purging stone. Thank you. I'll buy another one because I don't trust this game. And I almost, I almost remember when I was here at the very start correct me if I'm wrong but didn't I say that maybe I should buy a purging stone I seem to remember 
almost as if I said maybe a purging stone would be necessary. But I don't remember. And it's raining hard outside. Hard. The only thing that's going to be annoying is that uh, now I cannot activate that bonfire because I can't warp to it. Gauntlet's too weak to pull lever. Uh, what else do I have that's kind of like... Nope. Maybe I need like Havel set or some shit like that. It's the only thing I can think of. Maybe that's strong enough. Please tell me I have a Homeward Bone. Yes, I do. The last one? Holy shit. It's actually not good. I should have more Homeward Bones when you think about it. Okay, so Duke's Archives. We gotta explore this place. And we gotta... We gotta figure out where to go. Again, there's... Nice enemy placement. There's a metric fuckton of enemies here. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, my souls I did die here. And I have a spare Hume. Which I am not going to use. Yes, I am running through the entirety of the Duke's archives. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. Let's see what follows us and what doesn't. These, these assholes are not buffed. No zitching. The only thing I can think of is that the bonfire is behind the movable bookcase. Which almost presents problems of its own. But if it is, that would be like the nice place to kill... Try and kill Capra Farm from... Capra Farm? Yes. That's the demon ruins, the Capra Farm. So as long as these guys are this easy to backstab, I'll abuse it. It's just how it is, you know. This game plays dirty. You gotta play dirty back. Shit, it can hit you. I don't remember where he teleports to. Oh, right here, he teleports closer. It's actually okay. God, that has weird timing on it. I swear he sounds like Shang Tsung. He's reading off his spells. Ah. Oh. Where did he go? Oh, shit. Man, I don't know where these dudes teleport to. I am like really, really betting on this. That the thing leads to a bonfire, the movable bookcase. If not, I'm so fucked. Is that... I legit thought there was a bonfire there because of the lighting. I'm like seeing bonfires everywhere. Hey, thanks for the longbow. What? Oh, he's... Okay, there's a treasure chest. I was like, what? what is this dude reading? But he ain't. And this isn't a mimic either. Transient curse, okay. 
I'm assuming those will be needed eventually. Because uh, New Londo was ghost free. But I have a feeling it's not going to stay ghost free forever. What? Excuse me? Oh shit! Did I like, activate a fucking fair ride? Yeah. Is that meant to happen? Damn. That's pretty funny. I feel I feel like that's a safety hazard. Like the entirety of fucking Harry Potter. By Harry Potter I mean the staircases. It's not even my joke. Oh, it activated all of them. <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. That's one of these motherfuckers too. I'm going to use my stis. You know what? Screw that. Somebody died. Can I lock on to you? No, I cannot. Weird. That's really strange. Why he has such a short... I think that might be the same in the normal game as well, but it's kind of weird. I'm the better archer. Oh, shit. Apparently there's some way to get there. There must be like a way to jump across or something. Please tell me there's a bonfire here somewhere. Not a mimic? Cool. Because this is a little bit... This is a little bit worrying at this point. Um... Not a mimic either. Oh, nice. Is it nice, though? I think you can turn those into large shards, can't you? With Frampt. Wait, hold on. Isn't there supposed to be more in here? Or is it just because of the different layout? I swear there are more like tunnels, normally. Strange, strange, strange. Fuck, there's not a bonfire in sight. Um... This is a little bit... perplexing. If your boy gets killed here, he's gonna be so fucked. Yes! You just gotta be brave and kill enemies. Legit kill enemies. Blue tight knight. At least the fucking uh, things are more, more accessible. Like upgrade, weird upgrade materials. Because blue tight knight is hella difficult to get uh, normally. So that's nice. Ah, oh, this feels so much better. Um, we are in way better of a position now. This has been quite a journey, this episode. I feel like we went on like a mini adventure. Except it wasn't that mini. There's fucking pork everywhere. And this is the... I think I can kill one with... With a wrap of my flame. Make cooked pork. 
which is like the most obvious joke to make there, but I made it. Oh fuck, that happens. That happens normally as well. What is this dude doing? He's just like attacking a tree. That's the stoned one. This is a... Let's stay in human form longer than this. Uh, that's the goal for today. I'm gonna see if the pig respawns. I don't think they do actually. Oh, and while I'm here, I'm pretty sure, yes, I can. Keep increasing that dex, and I'm almost sure I'm not going to need flash sweat for a little bit. I think I can do without that. Maybe sweating would have saved me from getting cursed. Okay, they don't respawn. Nice. Because honestly, I'm kind of curious as to what's up here. Aside from a shit ton of enemies. We have more pork. This is really nice. Thank fuck I had the foresight to use Pyromancy. Because... I feel like this enemy would be really annoying without that. And we get the helmet. Which if I didn't have Mask of the Mother on, which is super useful, I almost would use just for trolling. Naked and Boar Helm is kind of a classic... Classic troll combo. Any, with any matching pair of uh, Smo's armor and Onion Bro armor. Uh, that's like the real OG trolling sets. It's just green moss. It's a little bit underwhelming, I'm not going to lie. I was expecting Major and I didn't get Major. Alright. As I said... This episode has been quite the adventure. Um, but this seems like a doable area. The question is... What should I do first? Should I go and kill Seath? Okay, you can warp out. That's nice. Or go to that capricious, capricious thrall. It's quite a mouthful. And try to kill him. We'll decide in the next episode. Uh, I'll see. I'll think about it. For now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Daughters of Ash. We're back in the saddle. I was really down when I was cursed. I was really pissed off. Uh, you could probably tell. But we are back. We are back in full force. See you guys. Goodbye.